So today we're going to be building something super easy, super quick, and that is a sticky footer, or if you want to call it a footer reveal, whatever you want to call it, it's the same thing. And I think it adds a little bit of that je ne sais quoi but to any website, especially to one pages or to landing pages. But it is up to you how you want to use it. So let's get into it. All right. So from the WordPress dashboard, we are going to go to templates, go to scene builder, and this is where you're going to find your footer and your nav bar. So this is where you can customize them. I already have a footer. Actually, I have a few footers <laughs> and we're going to go uh, work with this one the yellow one and we're gonna set it up so that it is revealed on scroll and i am going to go in the container that is holding this footer but if you don't have a container that is holding your footer and the footer is the container just select that all right okay so i am going to go to the container and go to advanced go all the way to motion effects and go and turn on the sticky option to the bottom and that's it as simple as that also you have the options to have this on tablet and mobile and it's not a problem whatsoever you can have it on it works great i've tested and it's great all right so one thing that is happening we need to have set the z index on here as well and it cannot be nothing if it's nothing, it doesn't work. I, I, for some reason, it doesn't work. So either you set it to zero or you set it to minus below zero value. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And don't ask me why, but that's how it is. No matter how high the Z index is on the containers on the website, it doesn't work. Just keep that in mind. All right, so I'm gonna publish it and let's go and preview it on the website. All right, so let's have a look. Um, if you're wondering what website this is, I built it last week. Uh, you can watch the video here or here. It's pretty cool. So as you can see, we are revealing the footer. Cool, right? I think it's pretty cool. And it works really well if you have set the smooth scroll like Lenny's, for example, on the website. It makes the whole experience much more interesting. All right, let's go a little bit in this website and let's have a look at what we did here. All right, so every section has set the Z index higher than one. You can set it, I don't know, to make sure that everything is on top of the footer. You could set it like up to five, let's say, depending on whatever your structure you have on your website. For example, the header is set to 9,999 because we want this to always be on top of everything on the page and it is for example let's uh, we are in this container let me go to this container i put it eight it doesn't have to be eight and for example i delete it right set it to zero nothing happens set it to actually something happens but whatever set it to two and now everything is on top of the footer you don't see the footer but if i don't have anything and i have like literally nothing you can see the footer going through and that's not nice at all so make sure that you set the z indexes on the containers or sections that you have on the website uh, the higher value than zero also there is something that you need to keep in mind if you want to build a website with a footer that is, that is being revealed and there's a little bit of planning involved for example you cannot set margins between the containers sections on the page for example if i set a margin of let's say 50 margin top here then uh, my footer will be shown because we are basically bridging a gap between the containers on the page and there's nothing you can do about that so instead of setting margins set paddings that's all i'm saying here so let's get, give an example of this for example let's say 150 and look at this i mean might be cool unless you want this specifically then you can do that you can set margin but if you don't then uh, i really suggest that you set paddings instead of margin between sections or and make sure that you set the right that index 
let's say one for example here it's enough it's more than enough but that depends on what you have on the page what that index that you have set on the page that's another thing that you have to keep in mind and plan ahead but i think this is the great effect and it does not require any coding whatsoever keep that in mind if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time